how to listen to every song you ever listen to turn into Nyan Cat. Hello, it's your boy Playmaster, back with another video. Today, as you can see, we're playing Woody Rather. So, I've been watching w people playing Woody Rather on YouTube, and I figured for myself, I should play it. Because I've not played it in a while, or recorded it in a while. So, let's move straight into it. So, would you rather eat only Chinese food all the time? I love Chinese food, it's so good. Or eat only Mexican food all the time? Well, so let's see, both places you get the food are from buffets. Food from our buffets. Well, I love my pot stickers, I love my egg food young and chow mein, all oh, delicious. But then at the same time, Mexican food is also really good. Like quesadillas, burritos. You know what, I had to go with Chinese food. Yeah, 50... Six uh, percent of the people agree with me. <laughs> ah. If you were forced to live in one um, for ah, in one for the rest of your life, would you rather live in South Africa or live in Kenya? So, South Africa, it ain't a bad country. It is, you know, it's rich. It has. Um, as plumbing, most important to most importantly, in my opinion, Kenya. I, I believe it. It's not. It's not like it's a bad country, but it's many African countries are full of disease. So I'd rather be forced to live in South Africa. Yeah, that's what I thought. Does anyone or some people agree with me? <laughs> Would you rather? Lose the front of your teeth in a skateboarding accident while well, you don't skateboard, uh, or break your hands on a bike. I ride my bike to and from school every day, and I love riding my bike. If I lost both my hands, I would not be able to ride or ride my bike or do anything that involves my hands. The, if I broke my hands, like that, what they would have to be like. Have both. If I broke both my hands, I'd have to have a cast on for both of them. I wouldn't be able to, you know, handle a mouse or anything. Or lose your front teeth in a skateboarding accident. Well, these are my permanent teeth. You cannot get your permanent teeth back. I would say break my hands because at least it heals, but your teeth do not come back if they're your adult teeth. Yeah, there we go. Seventy percent people agree with me. Dang, one point one million people agree. Good smart choice. Would you rather have Pokemon be real or superheroes exist? If you know me personally, you would know I do not like Pokemon. I'm sorry. I don't. I just don't like Pokemon. I, it does. Pokemon is just something that I just, just don't understand. Like it's just creatures with some sort of with some sort of different powers, and all you do is fight each other. I'd rather have superheroes exist. Imagine, like, Iron Man, or the Thor, or the Hulk, or Ant-Man exists. I would love that. Superheroes, yeah. Easy. Easy. Let's move on to the next one. So, would you rather have to wear a full body, body red leotard on your wedding day? <laughs> <laughs> or have the person you are marrying that day wear <laughs> Um There's a face hole in the leaf. <laughs> well then, um how to what well, I rather wear full <laughs> by Leotard or <laughs> Have the person <laughs> I'm marrying. <laughs> well, I personally, um, you know what? I'll take one for the team. Wow, 
<laughs> I guess may 33% of people don't want others to think that they look bad. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. If you were forced to eat a certain way, would you rather eat soup for every meal with, with only your face? <laughs> or stab your tongue with a fork every time you ate? How hard is the stab? Do I like jab it in my tongue like eh? Or do I like just like touch it like ah? Like what what which one? If I had to eat a bowl of soup every meal with on my face, do I have to like eat like a dog? Or can I use my hands to like pick up the bowl and drink it? Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to use my hands, I guess. Um stabbing your tongue sucks, especially what like if you ever bit your tongue, that sucks. I hate when I bite my tongue when I eat. But stab your tongue with your fork every time you ate. It depends how hard the stab is. So I would say stab my tongue. Wow. Because, <laughs> like, it, it depends. If, if you stab your tongue, like, if you just, like, touch it with your tongue instead of, like, jab it right in your tongue, <laughs> it's... Not that bad, I guess. But eat soup with... Really? 80, 891,000 people disagree with me? Like, you could just... I, I don't want to be eating like a dog. Imagine if you're going to, like, hypothetical situation. Imagine you're going out to, for dinner with your friends or family, and you have soup. <laughs> you eat it like that. That just... Why? I would rather, like, accidentally stab my tongue hopefully not too hard every time I ate rather than eat like a dog <laughs> alright would you rather live forever or until the end of the universe I would love that die right now with no afterlife you know what if you know me this is easy live forever yes be immortal I would love to live forever alright next one alright would you rather have to listen to every song you ever listened to turn into Nyan Cat. <laughs> no. Have every movie you ever watched turn into Badgers, Badgers, Badgers. Well, I love my songs and I love my movies as well. But the Nyan Cat, the, that, mu my, that music's catchy. Wait. Or have every <laughs> Nyan Cat is catchy, so I'll go with that. <laughs> yes, you have people agree with me. You have actually have logic. <laughs> okay, would you rather be faster swimming than Michael Phelps in his prime, or be faster swimming than Usain Bolt in his prime? Well, I'm a pretty strong swimmer, but. I, we, I'm a human. I live on land. I don't need to swim that much. I would much rather be faster, faster swimming than you saying bolt. I would love to. So yeah, faster. Yeah, yeah. You see, like we don't need to go swimming unless one we're in the flood, or two in a pool, or three you just swim just because you want to. And it's only like speed. I could swim. I would be fast. Would you? Oh my. Kill a hundred people. That would end you up straight into prison. <laughs> if you're a haunt, if you are a haunt, if you're hunted, you can kill the people who are hunting you, but you cannot kill any innocent people. If you want to kill a hundred people, there's a chance to not nail could you thought. I would rather be hunted by a hundred people, cause if I could kill the people who are hunting you, hunting me, then the then that means, you know, I can protect myself. So yeah. Really? You would rather kill a hundred people? Okay. Alright, so would you rather have Morgan Freeman, Freeman narrate your life? Or have Chuck and Norris narrate for, for your life? So if you don't know who Morgan Freeman is, he is a person who narrates many documentaries. Um, let me show you a picture. Morgan Freeman's this guy. 
It's this guy. He narrates lots of dark documentaries and such. So, but Chuck Norris. Morgan Freeman. I, all the way, yeah. 80%. Because he, because at least he is able to narrate good. <laughs> Would you rather be dissolved feet first and sulfuric acid? Ew. Sulfuric acid is like the, is the acid in the clouds of Venus, which is very toxic and will kill you. Or have a mafia hit on your family. Oh, jeez. If A, you have a 0% chance to survive. If B, they have a 0% chance. So it's basically asking me, would I, would I be killed or have my family be killed? I... That is so hard. I love my family, but I also love myself too. I'm afraid of death. But <sighs> I'd rather uh, be, uh, be dissolved. Yeah. Wow, that's that's actually pretty split. Very split, actually. That's a hard question. Hopefully, I would never have to deal with that. Anyway, um, <laughs> would you rather? Eat a five-course meal in front of ten starving children. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> no, you can't give them leftovers. You had it. <laughs> to spend stolen money on this for yourself, or steal a bucket from site from five Salvation Army Santas. <laughs> They're both horrible. <laughs> That is so bad, but this is bad too. I'm gonna look up, look like a horrible person either way. Um, I'd rather steal a bucket from Five Salvation Army Santas because at least it's just like toys and clothes that you're taking, and not like food that you're like eating in front of extremely hungry, scrawny. Children. No, yeah, I'm stealing the bucket. Yeah. Yeah, because it's not as bad. Because at least you could, you know, donate more. So, would you rather be a rock star or be a movie star? I'd rather be uh, a movie star. Yeah. 68% of people agree with me. 1.1 million. Nice. Yeah, at least movie stars, um,. They get a lot, a lot of money. They also get to see your face on the big screen. So, yeah, I would love to be a movie star. Okay, would you rather be the first person to walk on Mars via a one-way trip or never travel to space? Going to Mars means never returning to Earth, but being remembered as the first man to walk on Mars. All right, so... Mars is, like, Eight months away with our current technology, with our current space technology. It takes eight months to get from here to Mars. So, I'll be the first person to walk on Mars. Or never travel to space. That is hard. I would love to experience zero G. I would love to just be floating around. Um, but then again, how would you go to the bathroom in space? The zero G. Cause like if they have toilets, you can be strapped in, but your waist won't be strapped in. <laughs> or never travel to space. Well I live on the earth. Um I live on Earth, but like will will Mars be colonized by then? Or or is it just like how it is now? Because if it's how it is now, I would die within I don't know, days. <laughs> I would say ne never travel to space. Yeah. Like, I need to know for sure that it, Mars is, like, somewhat col- well, No, wait. It couldn't be colonized because I'll be the first person to walk on Mars. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not going to wait eight months just to be the first person to walk on Mars. As wondrous as that would sound, I'm, I don't want to be waiting eight months just to walk on Mars in space and they'll guarantee that I'll live soon after. <laughs> Anyways, m next question. Would you rather be a graphic designer or be an architect? 
Well, if you're an architect, you could build buildings. But if you're a graphic designer, assuming you're both pay equal pay, you'll be a skill of whichever one you choose. I would say be an architect. Really? Graphic designer? I'd rather be an architect and build cool buildings. Right, would you rather spend a day with Taylor Swift or spend a day with Beyonce? I have a feeling this one's going to be pretty split, but I'm going to say Taylor Swift. Wow, 50-50. Ooh, but this... But Beyonce got 1,000, like, like what, 500 more votes? 50-50, pretty split. Would you rather ride a hot air balloon or ride in a hovercraft? You see, I love, I want to go on a hot air balloon ride. I would love to ride in one. But ride in a hovercraft? Ooh, that would be fun. Fu all futuristic? Hovercraft, yeah. Alright, so would you rather always have messy, unkept hair or, or always have stains on your clothes? My hair is always like this. It's it's naturally curly. It's not messy though, but it's naturally curly. Or always have stains on your clothes. Well, I'd rather have messy unkept hair than always have stains on my clothes. Because like my hair is naturally like this. It's natural with all the curls. I like it. And it's like, it's messy, but like, it's natural. It's natural, messy hair. It's, it's natural curls, so. Yeah, I would say go with the messy, unkept hair. Yeah, because I cannot deal with stains on my clothes. I hate stains on my clothes. No. Alright, so we gotta chill with an, an Eminem or chill with Jay Z. I'm gonna be honest. Who the heck is Jay-Z? Is this him? Jay-Z? I don't know who this guy is. So, I know I'm going to get like lots of comments like, You don't know who Jay-Z is? Uh, uh, I'd rather spend my time with Eminem. Because I at least I know who he is. <laughs> Would you rather save the library of Alexandria from burning? Ooh. Or know how to Atlantis. Atlantis, yeah. It'll be much more interesting. We have plenty of libraries here, okay? We have plenty of libraries. No way around death. Would you rather be a president but then be impeached after three weeks? Or have complete power over the world but then get killed after three weeks? Well, if I'm a president and I was impeached after three weeks, I would have had to been done something bad to get impeached. But at least I wouldn't be killed. But if I had complete power over the world, I could really do damage or like really help the world for the good people. Kind of have complete control of the world. Then be killed after three weeks. So like, if I were to be, have full control of the world, I can make everyone go green, save our planet, or be president of what, like what, United States, or I'm assuming. Excuse me. Yeah, I'd rather have complete power over the world. Really? Well, I guess people don't don't want to die, but you're gonna die anyway. <laughs> so. Yeah, complete power over the world, I would go with. Because that way, you know, you could force everyone in a way, um, like, to make everyone go green, to save our Earth. So, yeah. Right, so would you rather live in a nudist colony or live with the Amish? You would have to be a participating member in either lifestyle. I would be live with the Amish. Really, a nudist, nudist colony. Oh my god. Alright, would you rather be a genius in a world of unintelligent people or be unintelligent in a world of geniuses? I'd rather be a genius. Because at least I'm smart and I know everyone else is dumb. 
Alright, so you know what? I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed um, me um, choosing what I would rather be. I, I just don't know who Jay-Z is. I just don't know who he is. I don't know what he does. I never even heard of him until just like two minutes ago. So, yeah. Uh, don't spam the comments, please. Like, you know who Jay-Z is? <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll upload more videos soon. I'll see y'all later. Bye!